Just keep moving. Second day of turkey season. 2013. Yeah, it's 2023. Oh, let's get rolling. Let's go to higher peak. Yeah, we just come up over this hill, this cornfield here. And uh, I just heard one gobble down that way. I also heard one gobble up that way up there. I'll try it real quick. Nothing, but we're gonna go see if we can't strike this one down here. Then we go about maybe a mile, three quarters of a mile, mile away up that way. See if we can't get that one struck up there again. I have an idea where he's at. There's a huge cut cornfield up top. And there's some pine trees on the left. There's a nice little ridge. So we got a long ways to go. We can't get this one to gall right away. We're gonna run over to that one. Yeah, he just gobbled again that one way all far. I wasn't gonna stop, I'll start over there. But I called the landlord, for, he gave me permission. But I like to, I like to verify the night before I go over just in case something happened or somebody else is going in there with a kid. It rained all day yesterday. And we're gonna try to strike this bird to see what's up. Cause there's, I'm surrounded by posted area and I have one little avenue I can walk to get to that one bird way up top. So, hopefully, this one down here, I can pull him off a of private and come up here to, or I can shoot him. All right. Oh, this one, this one turkey up here is gobbling big time. I mean, he's hammering, he's gobbling at everything. I made one call about 300 yards behind me and he cut me off, but like I said, he's, he's a long ways off. I want to try to get around here and get up into this field and get a good eye on him, where he might be at. And uh, hopefully we can draw him in. I mean, it's nice, it's starting to get green. Have just a little bit of ground cover, but not much. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna get ripping up over this hill. Oh yeah, he just gobbled again. All right, let's go. He's got one so much. I'm gonna be down below him. The way this field lays, it drops down. It's got like a two tier. It's got two tiers. He's up, I'm guessing he's up in the corn. You know, this one section that points out into the cornfield. So that's gonna be hopefully my spot I can get to, but I think he's gonna be out further. So, all right, I'm gonna stop filming so I can get going. Oh, look at the deer tracks. All right, let's roll. He's right up there. I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's on this side of the pines or he's on the back side of those pines. But the closer we get down to this ridge down here, we're gonna take this tree line all the way down. And it's going to be below him, so we should be all right. He's gobbling like crazy, so I'm going to try to get up there, up that edge, and find out where he's at. It sounds like he's up top. It 
sounds like he's up top, but I don't know. I don't see him up here. No, I don't see any, any fans, but I gotta drop down in here further. But he's gonna catch me if he's on that lower, that lower section, because he's, this field, it rolls a lot. So. Yeah, he's up top. He just gobbled again. Gobbling a lot. He's right there. Right there on that tip. I mean, it's textbook spot for Gobbler to sit there and gobble his brains out. I mean, right on that point of that woodland. And he could see and everything from a mile can hear him gobble.
to go. Should have set up right in the edge of there. I could have drilled him right there. He's only like 30 yards away. Man. He just would not come in these pines. Yeah, buddy. How about that? Outstanding. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Pennsylvania. Yes. Oh, nice bird. Holy cow, did he gobble like crazy. Yes. Gobbled his beak off. Well, that was fantastic. Heard that bird over a mile away and just he gobbled continuously from pitch down all the way over. I walked through the swamp, I came across the hillside up through this corn. 
that completes my triple, my triple trophy in Pennsylvania. But I got a bonus tag. And now I'll be going after him with a bow. Oh, that's exciting. He skirted all the way up around that hill. Up top, on that point forever, had a few deer come down. He went into the corn, about 100 yards out. And I just, I, I don't know, I just, I don't know why he didn't come in. And, but uh, yeah, he, he went down and I could see him. Then I spit drum with my mouth a little bit and boy, he turned around and looked a little bit and gobbled and spit and drummed a little bit and came around and Yeah, flop. You just sit there and flop. But anyway, I spit and drummed. <laughs> and he turned right around and he just started marching his way back up the hill, thinking some other dude was taking his ladies. Maybe he's got some hooks on him. Dang, man, look at that. Boy's got some harpoons. Harpoons. Let's see what kind of hook he's got on him. Oh, yeah. A little, a little messed up. That's a good 10 inch beard. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, he's got some, he's got some Sharpies. Oh, he can roast marshmallows on those puppies. Yeah. Holy cow. Take a look back at where I was at and why he didn't see me. That's how thick it was in through there. And I was standing, actually I was sitting, I was kneeling right at this tree, right in that opening. Right here. I was right there. He couldn't see my decoys. Actually, he might be able to see my decoys. It's a little blurry, but my Jake decoy is right. Right there underneath my finger. I was right over here. But anyway, he came up and boy, he, he strutted and gobbled. Boy, what a good show. I didn't have much of him on film until he came into view because it was so thick. I mean, look how, look how thick these pines are in through here. That's horribly thick. There he is. Boy, that's a champ. Yeah, he's got some harpoons. Harpoons for spurs. That's a good bird. Nice sharp, 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 sharp hooks. First thing in the morning, we had him gobbling right off the roost. I mean, it was windy, 38 degrees. And he it was probably about maybe five after six when he first gobbled. And we started him, holy cow, way back up on top of that point right there, the cluster of trees are behind my head. And he, uh, he gobbled coming in. He gobbled, gobbled, gobbled. There's, there's like a tree line that cuts up and angles that way. And there's a stubble cornfield up here. And there's corn right here, obviously. And he was gobbling at very little to my calling. But the crows and noises from the um, local area of making him gobble, I knew he was hot. Like he would gobble every 10, 10 to 15 seconds for a while. And he broke off and he was angled down in this stuff right here and there a few deer came up and he got skittish and he cut down through the corn down here behind me and he ended up way down there probably about 100 or so yards and then when i seen him i spit and drummed out i'm like <laughs> he perked up and i made a couple jake calls real quick and i clucked and i went <laughs> and then he about faced and he started coming right back up this corn and he just, he did not stop. He just like slow poked his way, but he didn't stop. Coming all the way up here. 
he stalled right here and I had a couple blowdowns here in front of me. I just couldn't see him until he got right up to this dirt edge. And he was looking hard, boy, but yeah, this, this completes my triple trophy in PA. But like I said, I have uh, one tag left. I got a bonus tag and hopefully I can uh, kill him with my bow. And then that would complete my triple trophy with a bow. And I got a, I got a 130 some pound bear in archery season. And then I got a buck in archery season. They're probably maybe, oh, I don't know. It's just uh, 100 yards apart or so because there's a huge cornfield I was sitting by. And uh, yeah, this is, there's one down. We got a whole season yet. It's the first Monday of uh, the season. So after this, I think I'm gonna go back, clean them up and probably go fishing. All right, good deal. That's a nice bird. Long beard. Absolutely Hammerville, man. Oh, he's, he's heavy. I bet he goes 21 some pounds. Big old fatty corn fed gobbler. Whoo. Look at that. That's a piece, a piece of beard, man. Burn off wings. Look good. Look real good. Spur daddy. OG, original gobbler. <laughs> Let's go fishing. <laughs>